Welcome to my channel. This is Dawn with Pink Chair Gaming and this is day 9 of my 30 day challenge to create a festive island in 30 IRL days using no Nintendo Online. My goals for the island are to have at least 2 festive builds, have a 5 star island, and have at least 3 villagers that fit the island theme. In my last video we started on a little market area that I'm hoping to finish today um, and I also mentioned that I was thinking about starting Happy Home Paradise. My original rules state that I can use it if I want to, and I wasn't sure that I would have time for it. But after taking a couple of Cap and Island tours and trying to find more and better DIYs, I decided my time would be better spent doing HHP. I think in the long run, I'll be able to get better items to use in decorating my island. So, let's go ahead and go to work. As soon as I walk into the office, I know that this is worth my while because behind the desk is a Shaflera tree, which will be the very first thing I purchase after doing my first house. First, let's choose our outfit. And of course, we need our first client. And we need a house to decorate, so I will meet you after it's done. All right, and I'm gonna be honest, I think every time I do this starter house, I decorate it pretty much the same way every time. But here we go, we have one house complete, um, which will at least give us a little bit of pokey to buy some items. All right, I now have my pokey. Now let's go check on that Shuflera, which is only 990 pokey, not too shabby. Um, nothing else I'm really interested in. I mainly wanted the Shaflera, so that's going to be it for today. Let's go ahead and head back to my island. All right, this is the state in which we left my little marketplace. Um, first of all, I think it's too small. I think it needs to be bigger. Um, I hate these steps that are here, and I've played with the design a little bit. And I'm going to put these down and see if I like it any better. I don't know that I am going to. I think what I'm going to end up doing is just using my in-game path throughout the entire marketplace. So give me a minute and see if I can make this a little bit bigger. And then we'll go from there. Okay, we have got the size figured out now. Uh, the next thing I want to do is actually put trees around the edge of it. So I'm going to go through, clean up these stumps, and then I'm going to go ahead and put all of my holes in to make sure I have the dimensions right of my marketplace. And then I'm going to count how many trees I need, and I will see you on the other side. All right, this is starting to look pretty good. Um, I'm going to need to make a little bit of adjustment, I think, over here on the right-hand side. Um, so let's see what I want to do to get my trees incorporated. In order to allow me to put trees all the way on the right side of the marketplace, I added a little bit more land to the right of it. Um, so now I'm going in and adjusting my river so that it looks a little bit more natural and not quite so skinny um, right there next to my little marketplace. All right, now I'm going to adjust my path where I had to take part of it out and then figure out how many more trees I need to fill in the right hand side. Before I plant those final trees, I want to go ahead and put down the couple of stalls that I already have, just so I can make sure these are going to fit in here the way I want them to. Now comes the puzzle game of exactly how I want to put these in here before I actually start placing items in the stalls. Um, I do not want to have to place all of these items more than once, and I think I have them the way I want them right here. So I'm going to start adding more stuff and then we'll see where we're at from there. All right, 20 minutes later, after collecting enough resources to make some festival items for the center of this, I think we're ready to actually start decorating. All right, I am placing the last of my centerpiece items and I'm liking how this is starting to look. So now let me see what all I want to add inside the stalls to finish decorating. This is definitely not 100% complete, but I'm liking the direction it's going. And once I get more items throughout the challenge, I'll continue to add them through here in the stalls. And I think this is turning out really, really cute. 
All right, we didn't do a ton of stuff today, but I'm really glad I figured out this market area. I'll have plenty of time to collect items to finish filling it in. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to start working on one of my neighborhood areas. So if you want to make sure you don't miss it, please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.